Hello and welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 13 for today, and in the last episode, we headed right into the eye of the storm in GC1. I'm here at Barry Island Beach, and there's no sign of the storm. So, as always, we're continuing our climb up to SSL. We're at Division 3 so far. In the last episode, we had someone recognize me, and it went pretty well. I think that the games are, are overall going really, really smoothly. A few wins and losses here and there. But, of course, before we jump into the matches, we have to do the meme of the day. And today, we have Jerry's suggestion of John Snowman. I think this one's going to be a tough one, but we'll have to see how it goes. Okay, so obviously we have a snowman, and I've got John Sandman. I've looked at a lot of different photos of him, and I couldn't really find a good one that, like, matched this angle. But I just love this photo so much. I don't know why. I just love the way it looks. So, let's first off... Just make sure that he fits into the screen here. We can probably, uh, you know, I'll just do a full screen here. I was gonna do something funny with like some text or something, but I, I really just like the look of, of that. We might not need John's uh, full beard or, or hair. We'll have to see what happens here. Uh, but let's start off with this for a little bit. Um, I don't really want to mess with his face too much. I mean, I could just definitely just stretch it, but that looks, looks kind of silly. All right, he no longer has a neck. Now, <laughs> I don't I want to make his head circular. I don't know what to do here. This is gonna be awful. Like maybe I just want to grab the features of John and like kind of put them where the snowman is. Is that a dumb idea? Let's make a copy of this and save it. Let's put it exactly where it was. Now let's grab this guy and let's just erase everything except for like the mouth. Let's just let's just try this. What am I looking at? You just have to bear with me here for a second. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, no, this is terrifying. Uh, let's start with grabbing this no, this carrot nose. Let's grab some of the stuff around it. Boom, carrot nose on top of John. Now, how am I going to make this work? Let's make him black and white, maybe? I mean, we have the features of John in there somewhere. It's definitely, it's definitely there, but uh, it's not quite doing what I want it to do. I mean, <laughs> let me just place that there. Yeah, that's not bad. I, I don't know. <laughs> I am not happy with this one, but I honestly don't know what else to do to it. Um, I had to keep his mustache because he's got so much facial hair. It's really hard to work with. But uh, I think you get the idea. This is John Sandman. Uh, I mean, I mean, sorry, John Snowman. Hope you guys enjoy this one. A lot of fun. Uh, let's get in the episode. Hope you guys enjoy. All right. I really struggle with that photo, but I think I did my best job that I could uh, with the time given. Uh, we got Dot on our team against Plum and Yanny, and these two are together. The ball ends up booming towards their side, so I'm just going to sort of watch mid here. Yan cuts across, or Yanny, sorry. Um, so I'm just going to wait for his touch off the sidewall, see if Plum wants to go for the challenge. I'm going to pass this across to my teammate. Really good bump from Yanni, though. Uh, and right here, I could just uh, go back in mid. I, I, if I tried to go for that, that beat on that player, I'm probably playing a little too fast. Wait for his flip reset. Ooh. That's really good play from them. I got bumped by my teammate, so I, I decided I'd, I should probably just move up. But I was going to wait on the backboard here. Um, but Dot was on the, <laughs> on the push up on me. And so he bumped me out of the way. It was a little bit uncomfortable, but not a big deal. Um, but what I was trying to say is that I could have went into that corner and challenged that guy uh, and pushed in, but I was really, really low boost. And um, in that situation, it was probably best that I just back off for mid and sort of stay close. This guy ends up booming the ball away, so I'm just going to go around him on the 50. Now it is last man here. I'm just going to pop this over, and hopefully my teammate can finish. And there we go. So I'm just trying to make sure I stay close in the corner there. One, once the one player right here is out of the game, I know that he's going to be out for a while. You can see he's way on their corner. And so all I have to do is just know that I have a man advantage and utilize that by popping it around that player as much as I can. And once I see that he pops it across like that, then I'm going going for the challenge. And I can stay with this to try to force this guy. Try to bump him off the, the boost, which I do. And even though Plum gets a, bit, a bump here, I don't think it's going to be dangerous because he's really far away. And I'm just going to force the 50-50 again. Stay close. Try to catch this. And the way that I catch that in a position that's dangerous is to make sure I'm under the ball before it lands off the curve. Good try for my teammate. This ball's going to spill in the mid. I really thought they were going to be there a little bit earlier. But he ends up letting go of the ball here. So I can keep it to the corner. I'm going to try and draw in Plum before he comes close. That way I can pop it over him. And now he's a little awkward. And Dot does throw it to the uh, the opponent on the wall. So he's not doesn't have the best control. I'm going to try and stay close. Good demo. And this could be open here. I'm going to pass this to the left for my teammate. Or let's go for the shot. So uh, the way that you can get a lot of power off of those when you have space. I can see my teammate was trying to go for the bump again. He went really far forwards. The way to get power on those is to do a fast uh, power slide into a side roll. 
and you can get really, really good power. I think I've got like some pretty decent saves, and they've got like pretty good pr uh, pressure as the opponents, but um, they're not really capitalizing on the bumps that they're making. That's a good shot to the far side as well. Good play for my teammate. Overall, pretty good, good game so far from both teams. Uh, Plum just went a little bit too passive up the wall there. You can see he probably could have made it back to make that challenge. And also, Yanni tried to cover for him. But the way that he drove up the wall was really awkward. Definitely could have just got the boost and went right back. It's going to go to Yanni here, so my teammate has to be really careful. This could be a shot. Open goal. There you go. Good finish. So, my teammate, I don't know if he got the back corner either. He missed the corner boost. And this is what I was talking about. Like, he bailed to go to another boost even though he was low he really should have backed off um, once he made a mistake but he just committed to it I'm gonna wait for my teammate who is maybe not going good save I'll leave this back back corner I can see Yanni's facing backwards so far this guy might cut in for him which I see that and that's both their players and what you can do is try to look for a player as they're flipping back and panicking see if this guy passes back to me not a good pass back because you can see that guy has the ball instead you gotta make sure when you do pass backs that's a little bit uh you know, in the direction. Oh, it should have been my teammate to go for that. I thought he was going to jump up, but I could have just cut it. But I didn't want to play too fast. He really should be jumping for those, though. The second this ball pops off the backboard, immediate jump right there. But he flips back towards the other corner boost instead of going for the ball. A little awkward, but we'll make it work. All right, so I can go for this. Go for a shot off the top bar. It's not quite in. Oh, my goodness, they're panicking. And it should be a finish. Nice play. I went for the shot off that uh, off that play because I have a bit of boost conserved. Just got to go for a shot off the crossbar. And actually, me shooting that on target, Plum would have saved it. And they ended up panicking because they thought that uh, my teammate was there. But honestly, you have to think about where the opponents can be off of the off of the play, off the kickoff. Because they're all going to be, everyone's going to be a low boost or they're going to be getting boost. So one of the two, it doesn't, both are not that dangerous when you're, when you got space like that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so so far, the, the, my teammate, the biggest thing that I've noticed is that he's just not positioning either far, far back enough or he's being way too aggressive. And both situations have put me in some pretty tough spots, but we're making do. Now, the way I'm going to touch this is make sure it's awkward off the corner. Good save. And once again, just barreling in. He's got, we got 30 seconds on the clock. You know, my shot was, I would say, my shot was the shot attempts. And then after that, um, you don't need to overcommit it, right? Like, just, just. Treat it as if that is the attempt. Now we got to, you know, rethink our strategy on the next attack. Not the greatest, not the greatest attack for me on the wall there or the side wall. Um, but my teammate will come in and swoop that up. Now I'm going to fake this. Wait for them to make a touch. Looks like Yanni's going to go for the play again. So he's going to go for the immediate touch and he hit the ground. So pretty good game. Um, definitely just a few awkward positions where my teammate kind of let. <laughs> okay. Anyway, a few positions where my teammate uh, kind of bailed on the play when there was, uh, uh, you know, some danger uh, on the field. Um, and you have to cover all your options, especially in 2v2. Maybe in 3s you can get away with it, but 2v2 really exposes all of those moments where you kind of leave the open play and you just, you know, leave the open net. So, and even 1v1 is even more so. That's why it's like so chasey in 1s because every little opportunity that you have to score... People will take it and just score the open net if you're not paying attention. Okay, so we got Fancy Fragment, Sea Dog, and I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, interesting. Actually, I don't even know if I can say that word, Danny. So maybe, maybe mute it. <laughs> I got some space here. I'm just gonna 50-50 to cross. And this guy's turning, and once I see that guy turning, I can go for this again. If you want to pick up the pace, and I flipped into the boost too to make sure I steal it. I get behind my teammate. Ends up popping into the ceiling, but Scoob Scooby has it first. He still has space in the ball. Oh, he bumped him into it. <laughs> So I don't suggest you bump the uh, the opponent into the ball if you're not going to get a demo or if you're not going to get the ball off of them in a way that it's like not dangerous. But the way that the guy bumped into him ended up speeding it right to them. You should have this. Ended up miss jumping. It might be another goal. Yeah, a little awkward, but you know, we're making it work here. We got we got lots of time on the clock. Oh, messed up my flip. This guy ended up faking the ball. Teammate should go with the backboard. I got some space here. The other guy ended up like going for that, which is a little dangerous. He, wait, he's forward. Oh shoot. Okay. I go for a pop here. My teammate's up. I'm gonna be very low here. Uh, pretty dangerous. My teammate once again committed for a ball, and oh, he turned it back into them. So yeah, this is this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be a hard game. I can already tell. I'm gonna get bumped here. The guy's turning very very slowly though. Oh, that's a good pop. It's probably a goal again, yeah. 
Tough game. Tough game. I'm not getting much support from my teammate on the back end. He's just barreling into every challenge, as you can see. Like, if he got a bump on that guy, which is what I thought he was doing, uh, I could have went for the ball there, but ended up just going over him, over his head. We got we to gotta bring this back. It's a good play off the side here. Got some boost. He's going to stay on it. Honestly, if I, I, don't, I don't mind a player getting aggressive like this because it's going to give us, like, a good opportunity to get a counterattack because this guy's, like, low boost. Got some space here. I probably could have went back for mid. That gets a, a good play. It's going to be open net again. Yeah, this is tough. Tough game. He's forfeiting. I mean, he's definitely putting himself in some really awkward positions where he's trying to cut it in where they can go for a demo. But I really think we can bring this back. I think I think my teammate is losing faith, though. Good try. So my teammate is very, very low boost. He's up field. Oh, he's going for it. All right, here he goes. That's what he's got. Okay. I missed the boost back here, but it's all good, though. That's over one. Over two. Good save from them. I'm going to bump this guy out and then go for the shot. And there we go. So I was waiting for the guy in mid to flip towards the net. Or flip towards mid. Um, so I was waiting underneath him, and then he ended up just flipping into me. So I was in a good position to follow that. But good shot for me on the side and good, uh, good air dribble for my teammate. I still think we have lots of time here. Let's see what happens here. Both of them go. That's what, guy, guy is going for a flip. Got some time here. He's going to go for a touch, which is fine. The teammate should be there first. It's a good shot. Awkward for them. Not the greatest shot. Good clear, though, from them. Go for a touch in mid. It's going to be them again, but we have space now. This might be open. Oh, he just... I don't even know if he meant to fake that, but a really good play. I think I think this guy was like pretty upset that we got so many goals scored on us, but like we are more than capable as a team here to make it happen. And you can see he got another play. I don't even think he meant to fake that. He just didn't have control on the ball. All right, so I'm just gonna stay back after this play. Goes for a pop, but Fancy's probably gonna pop this. Oh, that's a good dunk. My bad. Yeah, I definitely could have popped that over him or went for a play around him, but instead I tried to go for an air dribble when they were like pushing on this ball. Let's stay with this here. Let's go go in front of the ball, the ball here and make them have to go for it. So my teammates should be there for uh, first. Bang! We get a shot though, and uh, good play for my teammate to keep the pressure. A bit of an awkward turn there, and he definitely could have just got more more uh, momentum, but really bad touch from Fancy as well. Go for the shot off the backboard. He's up for it. A little aggressive. Once again, it's a situation where, like, I would say, this guy's trying to go for me. That's a really good shot. Really good demo. My teammate has space. We had one player die, so this is a, a chance for us to make something happen here. That's a really good play. A really good 1v1, 1v2. Um, I was going to say, once the pl one player is demoed and out of the game, we know there's space on the field. The one guy, like, goes for an early, early challenge. And that, I've talked about that a lot too, that early chip where you go for a dribble to the left and then right and a quick flick. It's going to catch a lot of people off when they're going forward. Got space here to stay with the ball. It's off target, which is totally fine. Got the boost. Teammate's up for it. What do they do with this? He's definitely panicking. Go for one touch and then a flick. Maybe bump this guy if I can. Make it awkward, awkward for them and there we go. So once I saw that the ball was popping up, there's no reason for me to try and go for the follow-up here because I flip into the net. So what I do then is just try to follow up and mess with the guy that's going for the ball. This guy's going to go up, but he might just throw the ball to me, which is perfectly fine. I got some space here. Go for a pass across to my teammate. He's ready in the space. Decent try. And uh, the guy clears it, which is actually decent because it means the ball's going to be away from him. I'm going to try and get in the way of this. I go on the wall. My team has full full boost now. It's a good try. I'm just gonna pop it up, and then go up for the follow up off the backboard. Oh, my teammate jumped as well. <laughs> oh no! I should have been a little bit worried about that because there's always a chance that my teammate will just go for the the touch when I'm setting myself up, and uh, ends up over committing with me. And that's like I would say that's like definitely his bad, but at the same time, like I should be aware that there's a chance that guy could. Definitely just be very, very aggressive. Good save. It's going to be them. Go up for this. Pop forward. Should be my teammate. It might be in. It might not be. He's panicking. And we score. There we go. Wow. That's a eventful game.
Nice bomb. I'm gonna stay with this now. He's gonna go for it again. He ends up missing. I can't quite go for the shot, but the mid pass. Okay, my teammate's a little far, so I'm gonna be careful here. I'm gonna try and force him off. Good save. I grab this boost, make sure that they can't uh, take take the boost off that play. Go for a shot down the field, make him a little nervous to catch it. Let's see what he does here. There we go. Ooh. It's gonna be a chance for somebody to go in. By somebody, I mean my teammate. Let's see what happens here. I'm gonna just pop it down. I just wanna to touch around him, so that way it falls to the floor. I wanna stay pretty safe here in case I do like some sort of fake kickoff or something. I doubt it because we're all solo queuing here, but it always happens once in a while. I was gonna go, so I'm just gonna block him. Okay, I pushed up. So I got my panic, so I'm just gonna wait for him to make a touch. See what my teammate does. Nice touch. Maybe you can follow up. All right. This ball should be bounce, bounce in the mid, so I'm just gonna pop it around them. I definitely could have caught that too, but I just want to get it clear. I go off for this early. Good demo. So we get clear from them. This boost is here, so I'm just gonna grab this behind. It's a decent touch. It's still pretty awkward though. Alright, we have space. Wait for Scooby to go for something here. Big flicks. So my teammate wants to go for this. Oh, he scared me. I thought he was gonna have that. So I'm just gonna wave dash up to this ball, that way I can get some speed. And then back off. I'm not playing like I don't wanna play too fast, but at the same time I'm just making sure I I'm watching all the plays that are uh, available. Just gonna go for a shot down the field. Scooby should have that, but no problem. And once again, I could have caught that. Get the demo on one player. Good touch from them. I'm gonna try and bump Scooby out of the play, and this could be a shot, and there's the finish. So I'm just being a disruptor in mid. It was definitely a weird game. Uh, definitely just never never time to give up. You know, I I think at the, the highest level, people watch high level players. There's not a very high chance that you're going to come back in high level games. I think in GC1, there's always a chance to uh, come back. And this guy was uh, an example of someone someone who... What is this guy asking? <laughs> what, is, what is he asking? I don't know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess, I guess it's a good thing. I don't know. It's a weird... It's a weird Thing to ask somebody i can't remember what i was saying anymore honestly i might i i just chalk up the, the train of thought the train of thoughts have been been ruined oh i remember okay i was trying to say that like at gc1 gc2 gc3 there's always a chance you might start gelling with your teammate there there might not be a chance you just gotta you know see what happens hopefully you you can figure out what was going wrong and a lot of, honestly like a lot of the, the times where we got scored on was just from kickoff goals or ki kickoff positions where we weren't fully settled yet Really a turn from Slice here. I was alone for quite a while. Anyway, my train of thought's over. Let's move back into the games here. So I got a 50-50 off to the side. This guy might just like barrel into the challenge, but now we have some space in mid. Let's see if my teammate wants to go for it. Ends up clearing it. This guy's a little bit awkward. Should be my teammate to turn here. Maybe pass middle. It's a good shot. They're going to save that, no problem. I'm just going to wait for them to make a touch here. My teammate's turning in front of me. And so I'm just going to wait behind. Yeah, definitely got cut off quite a bit there, but it's all good. I see that he's going to do it. This guy might turn on it, which is fine. I'm just going to bump him. You can see he just wants to chase the ball down. I'm going to go for this guy because this guy's going to cut it off. This guy's just going for the, the demo. I'm going to go for a fake here. Early follow-up from, team, from his teammate. Ooh, awkward. If that guy wanted to make a, a good chance at a save, he needs to uh, basically go for the immediate touch before the ball comes down to a striking position or read the the shot from further away and unfortunately neither neither one works that might go for the ball or something missing for the immediate shot it ends up missing a good passing play so they're ready for that i definitely need to play a little bit faster and uh go for a few more solo plays people are really doing some solo plays here so let's go for a touch across uh, that's not a great touch but neither is that oh Oh, I just want the ball. I got a touch. I'm going to go for a finish. I don't quite get it, but it's going to be much more awkward than a 50-50. And they're going to end up clearing the ball out to mid. So I'm still last here. I got to be a little careful. I shouldn't have pushed up into the corner. This could be another goal and they finish it again. Yeah, so a little awkward. I definitely not had much time on the ball myself, but I've been trying to utilize the space I've been given. 
to pop it over this guy and then try to get this back corner boost before they steal it. See what happens here. Okay, I'm just going to keep it close. It's over two. Or over one, I mean. Oh, man. He's be being very, very passive in a position where he can't really, um, you know, be passive. And there we go. Let's go for a little uh, snapshot uh, in space there. Got around one. He was just in the corner, basically barreled into the wall and gave me a free dribble around uh, with space in mid. Because once that guy's stuck in the corner, I can use all of the field to go against this other guy in a 1v1. Obviously, that I used some 1v1 skill to pop that around the guy, but still. I'm going to grab this boost, and once that happens, it doesn't matter if the guy stays on the ball because there's so much space. I'm going to go for a, a bit of an air dribble because they're both sitting in mid. I'm just going to get in front of it and see what happens. See if my teammate can get, uh, get close to it. Okay, so he's trying to make a play. Go for a touch off the wall and see what happens. Wait for this guys to make make the touch here. Once again, my teammate's cutting in front of me. It's totally fine. We've had plenty of experience with that in the the series, so we're just letting him go ahead and making his little <laughs> little play, and then we'll be in a better position to uh, utilize the space that we have. Like I said, I'm just using the space that I am given, rather than trying to make space for myself. Teammate needs to go for this. Good challenge. This guy's in the corner with very low boost after making that air drill play, so he's gonna back off here. I'm going to try and pass this to the left, but it's a little awkward, as you can see, because I can't really get a good flick there. See what this guy does. It's a good flick, but my teammate should hopefully be back to recover it. Okay, that works. Go for a boost across here. Pops in middle. This shouldn't be my teammates yet, because they're on the ball. Good 50-50. Oh, this is so awkward in the corner. I don't want to be anywhere near this. Because once again, they're just going to get like some sort of clear. Hopefully you can bump him or something. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to touch the ball. I'm going to grab the boost instead. Because the ball's already going into a spot where um, we can make make use of it um, in a second. So I'm going to go up for this to make sure it's awkward for them. And go off for the backboard and see if my teammate can finish it. Nice finish. There we go. Being selfless there and just making sure I jump early enough that Slice doesn't go for the ball. Or whatever this guy's name is. I think it's, I'm going to call him Slick or Slice. And I'm just going to try and pass that off the, the back wall um, to my teammate instead. Now, I'm pretty low in net here, so my teammate has to make a good touch. Go for a shot down the field. Good save from them. I need to grab some boost if I can find it. Oh, no way. What happened? <laughs> I turned away. I saw something weird happen where it like popped up the wall of the net. Oh, man. Yeah, Slice went for the ball in a position where his teammate was controlling it really well into the corner and then he ended up just taking it across the net again and because they bumped each other he couldn't follow it i mean either player te technically could have made a play from that and controlled it but you know when there are two players going for the same ball you're gonna have problems and stay with this go for a, a bit of a flick but didn't quite work out not not the best idea to keep that one up. I'm going to be honest with you. No way, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. There's no shot. He kept that up. Oh, man. He says worst GCs. Bro. I cannot believe he kept that up. That is, uh, that is something else. I try really hard not to rip into the people at this rate because obviously, like, they're just at this rank because that's how they play but i'm trying my best to like also teach people you know what not to do in certain situations and a lot of the times like i was just put in a really really awkward situation obviously like i i don't i wasn't always in the best positions in that game like i wasn't playing at the ssl level but at the same point there's definitely times where i just wanted the ball for for space and time and he would come in front of me and take it from me but it's going to happen. Like I said, this is a really good touch. And this could be a goal if I don't go up for it. There's a really good passing play from them. And all I need to do is just make sure I read where the potential shot is. Once again, not a good position to take the ball into a, a dribble where you cut in, where you leave the net open for a brief moment there. I'm just going to wait in mid, see what happens. Good read for my teammate. Ooh. I got some space here. I'm trying to stay close. I hear my teammate right behind me. I'm just, I'm just being careful not to overdo it on the touches. 
Is this Woody the demo guy? See if you can stay with this. Good pass across. A little bit light on the pass, but I'm just trying to make sure I read it um, like closely. I don't want to be too far away. That's one player out of the game. They almost... Uh, nice. They almost uh, own gold there. Is this the demo Woody? Let's see what he says. Maybe, maybe he won't say anything. He might not say anything. I got space to shoot this immediately. That way I can just get some boost. Or I can go for a dribble there. But once again, that's a situation where you might go lower boost if you're not comfortable with the play. Now I can go for this after this touch. It's not on target, but it's going to clear it to the corner. Make sure it stays safe and close. This ball is still going to be their ball here. So I'm just going to wait back. I can't push up on that, that play because if my teammate gets beat, then I'm also going to get beat. And the way that I caught that, I just hit, let it hit the top of my car. I'm going to go up for this now because my teammate's getting behind me and it lets it slow down. Let, let's hit me slow down the play for my teammate. Let him go for this barrel challenge in the corner. No problem. He's going to probably chase across as well. Totally fine. Ball spills in the mid. They're trying to make pressure plays, but they're just chasing across the field. No problem. Teammate should have it. All right. So good beat. Let's see what Genta does here. And uh, that was crazy. <laughs> That was insane. I'll go for a challenge here again. Ends up missing. Should be Woody's shot. Maybe a little bit high of a clear, but I'm going to go for this. They're probably going to beat me here. I'm just going to try and go for some a, a couple aerial shots. The team is up very, very early. So unfortunately, he does miss. Probably got a little bit nervous because he was last, but definitely not a position he's even jumped for. What is going on? <laughs> I, I got to do like a thing of toxic takedown in this series. I, I don't know. I mean, okay, I'm just going to start playing fast. Big miss from them. I'm going to wait behind here. What is going on? Okay. I'm going to go around him here. I touch it backwards. That way the ball stays close. Try to watch the bumps here. Go for a 50-50. I think my teammate's not quite there to make that play. And Jace is alone. So I don't really have any worries with him going for any ball. Because he is alone. Over one play. I'm going to go for a bump here on this guy. Because he is last man. Good try for my teammate to wait on that one. Got some space. Hopefully leaves the ball. Thank you. Pop it over. See my teammate's in mid. Didn't quite circle back to mid, which is fine. Might have been low boost. It's over me. Might be in. Really good shot from them. I was trying to get in the way of them to uh, get in the way of the play in mid, but they made a really good passing play. Good follow up. My teammate should have went to probably the backboard there because the, the high shot is definitely saveable if he's, if he's on the sidewall there. But decent, decent play. I, like I said, it's going to get much harder as we go up here. Hopefully it doesn't take both boosts. He actually left it for me. It's going to get much harder as we go here to play that support role because people are going to be not harder to carry, just in a position where it's going to be tougher to make a play alone. To cross, see if we can finish it. Good try. Let's go for a shot. I was a little weak. My teammate's trying to go for that too. Get my teammate to pass mid, maybe? Off the corner? Uh... Oh, it's off the thing. No, no way. Oh, it's another loss too. You know, we'll have to do one more because I, I feel like I'm definitely causing some of the slowness of the team. So I think we're going to do one more and I will definitely pick it up a lot more. But so far, it's just been like really, really awkward games. And I think that partially that has to do with me not playing the speed of the opponents. But that, that shot I thought was on the back left post, but unfortunately it was not quite in. All right. Last game for sure. Uh, yeah, it's been been a weird night. Let's just say that. Not feeling very comfortable with a lot of my teammates and positions that I'm, I'm sitting in. <laughs> I like that he pushed me out of the way. I like that. I got a shot opportunity here. I'm just going to shoot, shoot this top right. Good block from them. I should be my teammate to pass this far side. See if he clears up to me. They're not quite sure. <laughs> that was definitely a good play. Good pass for my teammate. They, were, they weren't quite sure if I was going to hit that. And I basically just put it in a position to follow it up off the backboard. 
But I, I'm kind of tired of losing. I'm going to definitely pick it up a little more with solo plays. Okay, he's making space with the dribble. See, they're going to go for a pass play. End up hitting it too far for them to follow up. We block it a turn on this too. Boom across. Ends up missing it. This is open if I just shoot it towards the target. And those air roll shots are going to be really, really important uh, to get uh, those shots on target. Definitely playing ones is going to help you with finding these openings when there's a player stuck in the corner and there's somebody like on the far side. Like all of that open space on the right uh, will give you so much time to go for those clears. Playing around teammates and trying to support teammates who cannot uh, finish the job is definitely going to be tough if you are a support player or you are somebody who sits a little bit more reserved. Um, and even if someone like takes over the ball but does nothing with it, it's, it's almost like a an immovable force. What, what is the word? Uh, an unstoppable force versus an immovable wall. That's a really bad touch for me. Probably be a shot down the target, but my teammate should have a good clear. That's right, so both players committing once again. I'm gonna pop it down the field. Wait in mid here. Good clear cross, but this guy's gonna probably clear it. Yeah. Stay close here, and then pop it around him once he's on the floor like that. Now the problem with what they're doing right here where they're doing so much shadow defense is that it can it can cause like a situation where both players start shadowing. I'm going to leave this back corner boost in case my teammate wants it, but he doesn't need it. Uh, I got bumped. It's all good. Um, but you can see that because they shadowed so much, they end up putting themselves in a situation where like they can't really ever turn and challenge and both of them are backwards. Good bump attempt. Ooh, close. Not the greatest touch for my teammate. I recover back here and just get a clear off the side. Now, because I hit it off the wall, I'm going to follow this immediately. And I want to see what they do off this play here. So I could go up for this. It's probably a goal, but my teammate also jumps. So once again, I'm just mindful of that this time around because I, I tried to go for a few clear plays. That's a really good shot from them. Really good space to pick up the ball and then go for a shot. Definitely should have reacted to that. It's so much harder, like, not knowing what the players are capable of because every game is like a wide range of... Uh, capabilities. Now, this ball might be bounced pretty weird. I'm going to let him go for it and just boom it towards me. I have some space for a dribble. Go for a fake here. This guy's going for a very confident demo play. <laughs> I mean, we'll take it. This is such a, such a weird situation. Like, I would never go for that because if I if something goes wrong with me, like, obviously I'm in a better, a better position to control that than most people in GC, but... You got to be really careful to go for those demo plays that are super all in in case things go wrong. Okay, if this guy turns on it, it's no problem. I'm just going to wait mid here for my teammate to make a touch. I can go for a shot here if I'm not feeling confident with the dribble, but definitely a dribble against them would be good. Popping a mid wasn't great because they are right there ready to pounce on that. He does with the shot here. Should be a save. Good save for my teammate. He's leaving the ball for me, so I'm going to stay with this. Now, they're all bailing really, really far. So I'm just going to go around them once they actually do turn. He left the ball. I thought he was going to leave the boost for me. It was really weird. Wait for the shot. I can turn on this. My teammate wants to turn on it, which is fine. I'm just going to go for a clear. Stay close once again. They're booming it over my head. Rotate behind my teammate. It was pre jump. What the heck is that touch? What is that touch? All right, I have this ball first. So he ends up actually bailing on the ball, which is smart from that guy on the backboard. This is going to be awkward uh, for a while for our team because I end up flying off the wall decent try from them it's probably gonna be a gg here because we got 19 seconds left and they're kind of flustered but but blocky go for a touch here now i can clear to the side for my teammate he's gonna go for that right behind here it's a decent uh play but once again it gives control to them watch for the mid pass just gonna watch that so they can't score and that'll be the game here definitely an interesting episode um I would say that I had a hand in the games that we lost, for sure. I definitely didn't play to the speed that I never definitely needed to in the, the final minutes to get the goals back. But, like I said, I don't want to pick up the pace just because I'm losing and, uh, you know, ruin the game for people, even though they were kind of being jack. But, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode either way. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.